In today's Clash Royale video, we will actually use the deck from the number one finisher in the world, Anaban. Absolutely destroyed the last meta. He was always almost a full season of one in the world. And actually, at the last day, a deciding day, he got almost 8,600 trophies using this Electro Giant Ram Rider deck. This deck looks pretty simple. The only really surprising thing is that we have a double win condition deck. We see it sometimes with like Giant Miner, Lava Miner, and so on. Like some decks with like two different win conditions in the deck. So also, like if you think about Mega Net Bridge, when you have a ton of win conditions in the deck, but with this deck, we have the Electric Giant, we got the Ram Rider also for air defense and counter potential also. The mirror is just so great, so your opponent needs to play the Inferno the test against Electric Giant, then we can murder the Electric Giant, play the Ram Rider, murder the Ram Rider, so many options. We have really cheap side with the Log, the Earthquake, the Cannon, the Tornado, to pull all the troops together into the Electric Giant, get the Reflection damage on that, and have the Golden in the deck to absolutely destroy opponents, also it's absolutely insane with the Nado in the deck. If you guys don't have the Golden Net unlocked yet, make sure to sub in the Valkyrie or Dark Prince for more pressure on defense or on more pressure on offense. This deck is absolutely strong clash run. I would say we're gonna jump into some games now. If you guys don't want to miss any videos just like in the future, make sure to subscribe and also make sure to use creator code Mort in the shop. If you guys think about buying a new battle pass, I will also do it later on. So appreciate any support of you guys. Also, you can get this exclusive emo in the battle pass. And I would say let's dive jump to the games and let's destroy our opponents. Here we go, guys. You in the first game. Well, let's see what our opponent plays. By the way, thank you so much for all the congratulations on the last video from yesterday. If you guys didn't check it out, make sure to do so. There's like actually the highlights of the 5,000 US tournament. We're actually one in Spain. So make sure to check it out after the, this video for sure. First, you should watch this. So I wasn't like able to answer all the comments. I'm not really feeling too great. I mean, I didn't just hope it's nothing serious. It's just because I think at least, um, yeah. I mean, it's kind of like happens, right? I was like training for more than 26 hours um, or like being awake for more than 26 hours of playing a tournament full of stress, you know, getting back at home. Also have some things to do. So I'm really able to sleep a lot. So yeah, just let you know, guys, I'm kind of getting back to the comments for sure later on. I'm just going to go for my earthquake here. So the good thing is actually maybe I shouldn't have earthquake this and just ran with another... Um, How's it called? Another uh, E-Giant, but I think it's also a fine play. If I go in for my dash here, also the Queen ability was great, but also really early use, but I think, I guess he had to. So this is exactly the match we were talking about, right? He has a building where four different options to kind of make sure we bypass this building. So I'm just going to go for my Ram in the back here. And the good thing is if he goes in for his cannon now, I'm just going to go in instantly for my Electro Giant at the bridge, I guess. So he goes for a lock because he actually knows. Okay, I'm just gonna go for electric at the bridge. So let's see what he does. Does he have mirror? He has mirror, but I'm just gonna go for the earthquake. Oh, that was a huge mistake. He expected. Oh no, he didn't know. He didn't know. So I'm just gonna go for my Q here and for my NATO here. Oh, the NATO was actually so bad. So we need to go mirror lock in case he goes in for how he's in front of this. Okay, no, I can just go go now. Okay, all good. The, uh, the tornado was really bad, but. Yeah, the one HP cannon was actually his buffer was going for an EJ at the bridge there because the one HP cannon actually tanked for the. What is going on? Was kind of making sure that the uh, EJ giant straight up goes to tower that this other um, is not pulling my Electro Giant to the cannon. So I'm just gonna go for this now. I might just drop another E Giant in front of this, but I kind of also want to make sure the Queen doesn't get too much by white. If I second another E Giant, um, the Queen will just destroy me. So. He just cycled a lock, which is good. I'm just gonna go for my tornado here. Um, just go for my Ram Rider. It's actually fine. Oh, the ability one second too late. Uh, too early, I mean. So I'm just gonna go for my Electro Giant here. Really good Electro Giant. So let's see how he's gonna respond. He's most likely just gonna play another cannon if he has it. Just go for my cannon like this. I'm just gonna go. Oh, that was actually a pretty solid um, placement by him. So he's actually putting up a fight against me. Mm. Also, not really what I want to see, but this is what he does right now. I'm just gonna go for my lock here. Mm. Cannon. He's coming down like this. Let's go. Let's go for actually Ram Rider on defense here. I think this is the smartest play I can do to kind of slow down the Hoggies. So I'm just gonna go, I'm still gonna go Earthquake here. 
Why? Oh, we actually get a ton of earthquake value. And because I just want to make sure that... Okay. We're dead getting damage also on top. He's playing it so well. So for the Muro actually carries him, right? Without Muro, he would have lost already. Um... Earthquake like this. Let's go ram right now at the bridge. I'm just gonna go use my um, ability here. He goes in for a lock here. We might get a connection on tower. No, we do not. But I can just go in for an E giant here. If he goes in for Hoggies, I'm just gonna go play my cannon over there. I'm actually going for another cannon here. Okay. I think it's the best play I could have done this situation. Now I'm just gonna go in for my electric giant, uh, for my golden knight like this. Earthquake. Lock. Cannon. I'm just gonna go for a tornado like this. I'm just gonna go EQ here because he most likely will. Okay, I'm just gonna go double lock here just to make sure we're actually winning the base race. GG's well played. Let's go. Here we go, guys. See you next game against Crudo Chivito. I'm actually going for my Golden Knight directly in the back. So you say good game. Okay, why are you saying good game, sir? Hmm. Maybe he f knows what's going on. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use my ability. I'm just gonna go Electro Giant in the back. Um Yes, I could have also done Electro Giant Bridge, but I just wanna I don't really know what he's playing. A balloon? Let's go for my cannon for sure. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. I think it's a saver play to just nail like this. I didn't know if I could have activated like without taking any damage, but this is exactly actually like where we have the ram by it. It's actually it's not too dumb having the Ramber in the deck because Balloon was actually in the top 200 after Electro Giant and Drill the most used wing condition in, yeah, in the, like, the top 100 in the world. So actually having, um, actually having the Ramber in this matchup makes it pretty solid. Um, even like the Ramber is not good as it used to be anymore against Balloon because, yeah, if you guys didn't notice that, I think got nerfed like two months ago. So... But, I mean, it's still it's still pretty, pretty solid, right? It's still pretty solid. So, let's go for Electra like this. Because now both towers attacking the Lumberjack and we got some counter pushes. Inferno is our cycle most of the time. Like, he has, like, only really one way to defend it. Like, Lumberjack, Tornado, Lumberjack, Freeze. Or going in. Inferno and plus Freeze. This is for sure his main, com uh, main combination. So, let's go for my cannon like this. Actually, sniped a bowler. So, it's a pretty, it's a really, really solid cannon over there. Also, Electra like gets some value. I even think going in with an um, Ram Rider on offense here. Because I still have a tornado on defense in case he goes opposite lane. He doesn't have anything really in cycle against it. Like, um, um, I mean, like he doesn't have his Lama Dragon cycle, so he cannot really punish me. So, what I would say is I'm just gonna go in for my boy here. I'm just gonna go for a tornado here. I'm actually just gonna go for the Mur Tornado. That was. I apologize, sir, but that was that was a really toxic play, to be fair. So what I'm gonna do just now is just gonna go for another Lycra Giant here, tank for both of that, and still create some counter push. Um, okay, I'm just gonna go for a log already here. Why I'm going for a log already? Because I know he's gonna play his Inlect uh, Inferno Dragon. So I just wanna go in for really, like having a Nado already in hand. Um, okay. I have another Nado in hand, so this is not too bad. Okay, I'm just gonna go for a cannon like this. Um, lock. I'm just gonna go Nado on defense here. Really solid Nado. He could go in for a freeze, but a freeze wouldn't be enough. So I'm just gonna go for the Earthquake here. Actually winning this one. GG's well played. I mean, the Ram Rider really put in the work in this matchup. Here we go, guys. Opponent starts off with a Baron Hunt at the bridge. So for sure, it's the right call for us to just go in directly with an Electro Giant at the bridge. I don't know why you would play it in this spot, Um, to be fair. I'm still gonna earthquake that why because I actually damage everything and yeah I don't know if it was the smartest play to be fair so he just goes with an I'm still gonna use uh, the ability is really great right so I can get like a ton of value on all of this stuff so actually ego isn't an easy matchup since I have EQ so I need to go for my log now I just gonna go log early why I'm gonna log early um just to make sure the how is it even called, guys? How is it even called the uh, um, healer dies? This is really important for me in this matchup. So he's saying good game. I don't really think it's good game yet, but the Rambo are actually getting a ton of damage on Tau. If he's like still playing something, I would go golden at the bridge because that means basically he's at zero. But that was a really... 
I mean, really smart ram right? Like, actually, this deck, it seemed like a troll deck or just like a snipe deck to, to, to play against specific decks where you know, like, your opponent's playing Balloon example, but it looks like an oversold deck, but we still should make sure that we can, like, we shouldn't be overconfident in this matchup, right? Like, like I think we all got. Oh, destroyed by Ego Lim. Okay, I'm just going to cannon here. I'm also going to go E Giant on defense here. Honestly, just to tank. I'm just going to go use my ability now. That wasn't the best ability of all time. Hmm, the only question is if I actually can defend this pretty well or not. Just go for another E-Giant like this, really solid E-Giant. Level 16 giant actually puts in the work we need. But I st we still would say we didn't win the game. If he goes in like continue with his healer spam, I'm not really too happy about that. Oh no. He has three healers on the map. Okay, I like the giant. Just gonna use my ability here. Just gonna use my ram on defense. Getting a perfect lock on him. The question is if I can just like win this game by just going in for defensive E giants and just tank away all the stuff. But I don't really think it's possible to be fair. I don't really think it's possible to be fair, and that means basically we are losing this game, right? The only way we win this one is just like if we're able to defend this. But I don't think we can! <laughs> it's so like if he would have had at least lightning. I mean, lightning is still not great against all this. Like if he has like so many eagles on the map, but still, like imagine he would have had rocket. Oh man, I hate eagle. So guess you next game. Okay, I need to be fair. The ramp I didn't we really do the job in the last game. Still put an offensive pressure, but yeah. I mean, we were up ahead, like, I didn't know what to do, right? Maybe I should have tower trade, but, like, he would have just ignored and would have freak on me anyway. So, I didn't really know what to do, to be fair. So, okay, let's see if he plays Packer or not. I'm just gonna go for really Sword Tornado here, getting the King to activation done. I'm actually just trying to get, like, on both of these. Oh, exactly, exactly, exactly. What a log, what a play. This is what we want to see. So... I think actually I'm just gonna go for my Bram Rider here. Why I'm just gonna go for my Bram Rider like this? Because the only best thing he could do is going for a Packer. Otherwise, he needs to commit so much. He doesn't have Ewis in cycle, right? This is my main reason I'm going for this. Like, he doesn't have Ewis in cycle. So I'm just gonna go actually for my Bram Rider like this on defense. I didn't really have another play. If he goes in high Packer, I just need to have like make sure to have 7 Alexa. To kite this one. But I still think the Bram Rider gets on level 16 Bram Rider. I mean. Ram Rider is not good right now, it's more of the least used win condition, but what about a level 16 Ram Rider, sir? Level 16 Ram Rider is for sure something different, so I'm just gonna go for a perfect lock here. Why was the lock perfect? The uh, Ram Rider didn't connect, and I think it's the best play I could have done in this situation. I'm just gonna chill here, I guess. Maybe I should have gone for a good gun for a tornado, like pulling it to opposite lane. I'm actually going for this here, I'm just gonna go, no, I'm just gonna, not gonna go Golden Nut yet. I'm actually gonna kite here, so we're really using our cards to just try to kite as much as we can. He's gonna zap, so I might just go and I'm just gonna let it go most like just go for another ram here at the bridge at six. Because yeah, why not? If he's gonna go fireball, that would be fine. Because fireball wouldn't be enough. So he's also going for fireball plus E This is interesting. We also get a connection. I don't really think that's that's what you want in this situation. Let's go for E giant here, the bridge, why not? Like I, why actually not? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go on for tornado here plus ability. Let's go, get ability on tower. That was actually a really bad place. Um How's it called? Bad place. Um Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. Tornado, because we actually activate King Tornado. Need to go for electric giant on defense. I hope this is fine, but the problem is, yeah. I don't really think it's that fine. Just need to go for a lock here. I'm just gonna go for another lock. Oh, this locks! That's actually pretty cool. I'm just gonna go for a ramble in case he goes Magic Archer. Yeah, kinda expecting. Just go for my Earthquake here. Goes in for this. And we get a connection on towers, so I actually just need to make sure. I'm just gonna go for a lock here. 
Lock. Nato, please. Please! No! We lost! No! I still will let a game in. No, 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 no. That's not enough. We do one more game. Like, I, I was thinking about stopping after this one, but we do one more game, guys. You asked for longer videos, so we will do them now. So, yeah, make sure to support until the end. Um, if I see, like, you guys want to see more of this, like, 18 minutes. I don't really know how long it will be. But for sure longer than 12 and so on. Video let me know in the comment section. So we're just gonna go for an earthquake here. So opponent just drops a banner. So I hope it's not Pekka again. Please. Hmm. No, oh, Pekka is not a good matchup. Going for the King deactivation. Let's go cannon like this. I think with the three towers, it should actually be fine. Playing it like this. Hmm. What's the next play? Oh, the ability got reset. It's so uh, I hate this. I hate this interaction. It's like one of the most annoying interactions you can have. So I'm just go for Electro Giant like this. It's honestly a really solid Electro Giant since he used Sum Elixir. And he uses Eos. Eos is one of the best counters against Electro in this specific matchup at least. So you need to aid Elixir. Because now. He doesn't have now he doesn't have his um Ewis in cycle anymore, so he cannot stun this. He doesn't have a pack on cycle. So the thing I'm gonna do right now is just gonna lock this back. So they actually the question is how he's gonna defend this. Like how the heck is he gonna defend this? Um I'm also gonna earthquake this because I really wanna slow down the packer. And this is one of the pushes I need to get as much damage, right? Because soon he will have another packer ready. Um, for my electric giant. So getting as much damage is really important. We're actually not really like an earthquake with cycle range yet, but we still have the Rambite as a secondary win condition. So right now it's just about playing defensive, controlling the game, and don't really go in for no reason. So I mean if he goes Pekka and I still have like an Electro Giant. To kite. Mm hmm. Just gonna use my ability now. Just go Rambite like this, why not? Okay. Cannon. He's gonna fireball this, but it's actually fine if he fireballs this because I can just go in for an EQ. He needs to fireball Zap so we actually get like a free EQ on tower. Okay, what's what is his next play? He's not gonna do anything, so I'm just gonna cycle a murder EQ here. Like, why not? I don't really have any other play. I'm just gonna right now in the situation I just wanna play passive and kinda wanna respond on his plays and not doing the first move. So let's go cannon like this, okay. Electro Giant deck this in the middle. Because I couldn't have kited Electro Giant because of the um because of the Golden Knight. I'm just gonna go for my cannon here. Okay, I'm just gonna go for another cannon like this. I'm just gonna make No, I don't really need a NATO here because yeah. The cannon will die anyway, so let's gonna go for the Q here. GG's well played. Actually, what? Like, this is the greatest thing ever, right? We're losing this match, and in the next game, we're actually winning this match. I won the Q8, and for today's video, if I guess don't wanna miss any videos in the future on the channel, make sure to subscribe and also make sure to use creator code more on the shop. This makes this video possible. I'm gonna step out. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.